Hello, my name is Chad and I have something to tell you. Have you ever been able to tell when your allergies are about to come? Probably when the flowers start to bloom, which is about the same time farmers realize it's time to plant. So what do you think would happen if the flowers didn't bloom on the right time? That's what I'm here to talk about. Phenology is the study of time when biological events occur. Season change is an abiotic component that affects biotic components, and phenologists try to see how the bionic organisms are affected by abiotic changes. I know, that's a lot. For example, flowers bloom in the spring, and in Washington, D.C., they time the Cherry Blossom Festival in the spring while the trees are still blooming. However, due to the climate change in D.C., sometimes the trees blossom too early for the festival, so instead of a beautiful row of pink trees, it's barren. This is due to the fact that the Earth is heating up. In the 20th century, the Earth heated up a whole one degree. Yet, by the end of this century, scientists speculate that the Earth will heat up 7 degrees. Now, that might not seem like a lot, but yet it is 600% more. So, I know what you're thinking. Great, so you're telling me that the winter in Chicago isn't going to be as bad? Well, that's true, but there's more to See, it. if flowers don't blossom, then the insects that depend on the flowers for food won't get their 10% of their energy. And the mice that depend on the insects for their energy won't get it which causes the snake that depends on their mice for their 10% won't get theirs, and so on. This can eventually reach uh, humans. What interests me so much about phenology is how something that seems so small, like the flowers not blooming on time, can have such a big impact. I went to the North Park Nature Center in Chicago, Illinois, to see some things firsthand. Now what I saw was a lot of green. Well, that didn't surprise me since I was kind of in a forest, but what did surprise me was the lack of color. Specifically flowers. Especially with this year in Chicago, with the weather going from warm to cold, the flowers could have easily thought it was safe to bloom and then later been killed off. Now, I already explained how flowers not blooming on time can affect our energy source. However, if plants die off constantly, then there won't be enough carbon dioxide in the air. And we kind of need carbon dioxide to breathe. Now, it isn't in just Chicago and DC where this is happening. It's happening everywhere. Yeah, everywhere. So next time you see a plant- Thank you. Thank you for blooming on time which caused you to provide me with energy, which let me breathe. Thank you. Okay, this is a lot of fun to shoot, so I thank you so much for watching and looking at my face for a whole two minutes. Um, so thank you just so much for paying attention. Hopefully, I don't like Mr. Girl, like, give me an A, please. Thank you. Bye.